Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be trying a new release from Charlotte Tilbury. These are part of the Quick and Easy collection. She came out with five looks total. I grabbed two of them and in today's video, we are going to be testing out the formula, swatching, playing, etc. I am super pumped to get into it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and let's go ahead and get started. I feel like these pretty much came out of nowhere. I just saw the announcement that they were out for early access and of course I immediately looked through the products and I picked a couple and I placed my order. Here is what the packaging looks like. It pretty much resembles a really fancy, very, very fancy cigarette box right here. And each look comes with three products. One thing I noticed on the website that I was kind of annoyed by because it made it more difficult to pick the products that I wanted was that they didn't have the products swatched on different skin tones. They just had like a generic swatch on a white surface. And so it made it hard to tell what the products would actually look like on real skin so I'm hoping that in the future they fix that maybe they'll add a few more pictures to it or if it comes out at Sephora Sephora is pretty good about having skin swatches on their website so hopefully on the Sephora website we will be able to see that I'm logging into the Charlotte Tilbury website as I speak because I want to see the shades that I ordered since it is not on the box or the packaging. The looks I ordered were pretty fresh and super chic. And each one of these looks retails for $75, which I thought was like a little pricey, but we won't judge it just yet. Let's just see how they perform. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the like outer packaging of this. I absolutely love how sturdy this little box is, how travel friendly. It has a magnificent mirror on there and then it comes with three different products. One of the things I was wondering when I was looking at these on the Charlotte Tilbury website and it wasn't clear to me, so I don't know if I missed something, <laughs> was whether or not the highlighter was the same for all of the kids because I could definitely tell differences in the eyeshadow stick. I could tell the difference in the blush and lip shades, but I could not tell the difference in the highlighter shades. So I think, I think that all the highlighters might in fact be the same because both of mine say Chic Glow. And that is a little bit of a shame because if you like me want to collect multiples of these, then I'm sure you like me would like slightly different highlighter shades to come with your looks. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this a swatch. Before I go into the swatches, I just realized how to differentiate them. Um, the blush and eye um, sticks say the name of the kit on the shade. So this one here, for example, is the Pretty Fresh kit. Because the blush is called Pretty Fresh Lip Slash Cheeks and the eyeshadow is called Pretty Fresh Eyes and this one here is called Super Cheek Lip Slash Cheeks and Super Cheek Eyes. So now I know how to differentiate them. It literally was not anywhere else besides the shades of the eyeshadow and the cheek product. And this definitely confirms that the highlighters are exactly the same because both of my highlighters just say cheek glow. Anyways, let's get into the swatches now. Okay, so here is the Pretty Fresh Eye Stick, which as you can see is a nice gold shimmer eyeshadow. Moving on to the lips and cheeks, this one is the one from the Pretty Fresh kit, which is a nice coral orangey type of a shade. And lastly, the highlighter in Easy Glow, which is pretty sheer and also very shiny. I think I'm going to like it. It's really nice and it is so sheer, it totally looks like it would work for a lot of different skin tones. Moving on to the second kit, I have the Super Chic Eyes right here, which is a matte type of eyeshadow, really nice and pigmented, absolutely love that. And here is the Super Cheek Blush and Lips. Really love that color, it's like a burnt mauve almost type of a look. 
Lastly, the highlighter, which just like I suspected, is pretty much the same. I lowered the light a little bit so you can better see the swatches and I can get closer to the camera. And so to the left, you have the Super Chic Trio and on the right side, the Pretty Fresh Trio. One thing to note is that I kind of expected to pull these out of here and for each one to kind of have a cap of their own um, so that it would kind of maybe be optional whether or not you want to use it with the container or not. I most likely would have always used it with the container anyways, but note that that is not the case. The container is the cap and it actually like clicks in so make sure that you click it in all the way so that there's no air that can dry out your product and also know that you will always have to use it with the exterior packaging i do think the exterior packaging is pretty gorgeous so i'm not mad about it but i just wanted to tell you everything that i've observed now as you can see my makeup is kind of already done except we are missing these steps of course so let me tell you what i did to get to this point so far and of course all of the products that i am about to mention and that i used today will be linked down below in the description box i wanted to pretty much use a lot of my charlotte tilbury face Favorites, so those are the things that I brought out. Of course, I started by smothering my face in Magic Cream. Magic Cream is my favorite moisturizer and primer. I use it on a daily basis. I actually just refilled my jar, which I was very excited about. And of course, I also used the Magic Eye Rescue Eye Cream underneath my eyes. Also one that I use on a daily basis. Now for foundation, I wanted to bring out my beautiful skin foundation, but I just don't love it on its own. I find find it a little bit too thick for my personal preference and so what I did was mix it with the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum which is an extremely extremely lightweight product. So I have the thick creaminess of the Beautiful Skin Foundation and the nice liquidy texture of the Rose Ink Tint. I mix the two together and that is a perfect texture and coverage for my skin. This is definitely the way that I've been loving using both of these products and that way they don't go to waste and I can actually use them. So if you like me think that the Beautiful Skin Foundation is just a little bit too thick for you, I would definitely recommend mixing it with something that is like a tint, something that is watery and more lightweight because I absolutely love the way that these two look together. Besides that, I also brought out my Charlotte Tilbury contouring wand in the shade light medium and that is what I put as my bronzer all around my face. Oh, I forgot to mention underneath my eyes, I have Charlotte's color corrector, which I use on a daily basis. I went ahead and applied my YSL full cover concealer and I set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. So now we are here and we are ready to destroy, apparently. <laughs> So now we're here and we are ready to play with the looks. Since each one of these has a blush, a lipstick, a highlighter, and an eyeshadow, I'm going to just do half and half and see what they both look like. So I'll be doing a lot of turning my face for you. <laughs> the hair is out of the face, so let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the Pretty Fresh kit. Yes, I'm going to do Pretty Fresh on this side and then the super chic on this side. Let me go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow and I'm going to just basically swipe it all over my eye all the way to the crease area right here. Inner corner to outer corner. Just like this it looks really nice and luminous and I have a synthetic brush. This is the BK Beauty a501 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection and I love to use synthetic brushes for cream products on the eyes so that's why I brought this one out and I'm just going to blend my crease with it just the crease because I want to keep all of that luminosity and shine on the eyelid so I'm not going to touch the eyelid much okay so this is what this one looks like Honestly, nothing too impressive, but if you're into a one-and-done type of look and you love a champagne gold type of a shade, this might be for you. 
I'm going to use a little bit underneath my eye as well. With a look like this one, once you put mascara on, things look a lot better because there's a lot more contrast between the shimmery eyeshadow and like black mascara, but uh, I mean, it is pretty basic. <laughs> so next, I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Cheek product and I'm just going to kind of swipe it all over my cheeks and then with my BK Beauty brush, just blend it. This one is the A507 from that same collection. The blush is lovely, really loving that. Bringing it up a little bit. Okay, yes, I absolutely love that blush. And since we're doing everything in half, I'm going to do half of my lips too. Don't question it. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, it's so pigmented on the lips. I love it maybe a little more and of course we have to do the highlighter I'm going to go a little bit right here underneath my brow with it and the top of my cheekbone a little bit of my temple here and this is BK Beauty A506 and I'm blending all of that out with this brush maybe a little bit more right here on the top of my cheekbone. What do you guys think? I think this looks lovely. I'm not super impressed with the eyeshadow because it is basically the exact same color as my skin. You can literally see the highlighter more than the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow just blended in with my skin so much. But I do really love from this kit the blush slash lipstick and the highlighter which is in both kits I also really liked. I'm going to go ahead and use my mirror to put some mascara on and this is my Ilia mascara which I thought was okay when I first tried it but I have been really loving it lately. This must be one of those mascaras that just gets better with time because it literally sat in my drawer for like a month maybe two <laughs> and then I pulled it out randomly one day and now I'm in love with it. It's weird. With the mascara applied this is what things are looking like. And let me just go ahead and move on to my second kit. Once again, starting with the eyeshadow and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just putting it all over my eyelid and all the way to the crease. As you can see, this one's really nice and pigmented. And I'm pretty much going to be using the same brushes. So this is that brush that I used for the crease on the other side the BK Beauty 501 and you can see how easily it is spreading this product around. I immediately already like this a lot better than that champagne shimmer just because it gives the eye depth and definition and I might just have picked the wrong color for myself. I feel like this champagne color on a darker complexion might make a lot more contrast and look more beautiful but on me it just was kind of washy outy. Here is that beautiful eyeshadow, which was so, so quick to blend. These are super creamy. I don't have any complaints about the formula. Everything is pigmented and blending out pretty much immediately. So I'm going to smudge it underneath my eyes as well. And here is our super chic eye look, which I'm really loving. With the super chic blush, I feel like I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Well, maybe not. I thought it might be a little too dark. But I actually feel like this is fine. And I'm going to blend it with my BK Beauty 507 brush. Okay, as you can see, that is lovely. A little bit more back here. It's kind of almost one of those like bronzy blushes. If you don't like your blush to be super pink or coral, you like it to be a little bit more on the bronzy, natural looking side, this might be a really good one for you, but it still gives my face a little bit of color. Let's do the other half of the lips. As a lipstick, it kind of reminds me of Very Victoria, which is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And lastly, of course, let's add the glow. Let's go underneath the brow a little bit. I liked when I did that on the other side. And the BK Beauty 506 brush. I'm going to grab a little bit more highlighter on my brush and put it on the inner part of the eye here, just to add a little something something to the eye look. 
and that is it so this right here is the super chic look love the blush love the highlighter and I really, really like the eyeshadow. She's advertising these as a look that you can do in five minutes, and I totally agree with that. If this is all you're counting for, your makeup, of course, because obviously I had done a lot more things to my eyes before I even applied this, but you can do your blush, lips, and eyes in five minutes with these kits. Let me do mascara on this eye and I'll move on to my final thoughts and stay tuned for the final thoughts because I definitely have some things that we need to discuss about these. My mascara is on. I look a little bit two-faced, okay? <laughs> and there are some things I definitely want to discuss about these. Do I think that these are a good idea? Yes. Are they exciting to me? They are. Are they a little bit basic? Yes, but that is the point because you are doing a five minute makeup look. Are they luxurious? Definitely. They feel fancy. They perform well. The formulas are amazing. Super, super creamy, super lightweight, extremely easy to blend. Hence why you can get a makeup look done in a very quick amount of time. There is literally not a complaint that I can have about these except for the like elephant in the room, which is what I'm about to talk about. They are perfect. I love the packaging, easy to travel, wonderful formula, great mirror, etc, etc. I actually really love them. Definitely liked this side of my face a little bit better than this one, although I do like this blush better to be honest, but I just need a little bit more vava boom when it comes to my eyeshadow and this one gave me a little bit more depth which I liked better. Anyways, I love them, right? We've established that. <laughs> the price though, I feel like $75 might just be a lot of money for these because these being super travel friendly, you are getting kind of like smaller products in here. I find these to be travel size items. Like you're definitely not getting a huge amount of eyeshadow in here. We've seen that the regular size eyeshadow sticks like these are at least double the size and those are individually priced at $25. This kit being a $75 kit, you're pretty much paying $25 for each item, or if you want to assign a $15 value to the case, which I think is fair, you are still paying $20 for each one of these items. And at the end of the day, they are travel sized items still. If you were to use these on a daily basis, they're not going to last you that long. So I find that $75 for these kits that are kind of travel size kits is a lot of money. I would totally think that maybe like 50 to 55 dollars for them would be a much more reasonable price but 75 dollars for three travel size products does seem like a lot of money in my personal humble opinion. Are they beautiful? Yes. Travel friendly? Yes. Love the formula. Literally love everything else about them. But the price, to me at least, seems to be a little bit on the steep price. I am dying to know what you guys think, so please let me know down below in the comment section of the video. If you're going to purchase these or anything else that you saw me applying today, please check my links down in the description box of the video. I make a small commission when you shop through my links, which helps out my channel tremendously. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Patty, and I would love it if you were here to stay, so please don't leave without subscribing. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.